all laughing because there's poison in the cake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Melanakis. I like to combine cheap grocery items with rare and fancy things because it turns me on. I'm the Fat Prince! Welcome to another glorious episode of Fat Prince. I'm here with Chris Yen Bam Rung. He's from a restaurant called Night Market. He cooks authentic shit with real spice, not that white boy spice. And my boy Adam Pally from the Mindy Project is coming by too. We're gonna fucking cook some awesome shit. It's gonna be dope. So we're gonna make mama pod, which is stir fried noodle dish. We got the classic mama noodles. Kind of resembles like ramen noodles, but I guess it's the Thai version? It's basically like the, the ramen version of plain potato chips. This is like the blank slate one that you could put stuff on, you know? Yeah, I wrote a rap song once and it was like, you're struggling living off ramen noodles. I'm in my Lexus finger banging poodles. That's beautiful. Sick, right? I like that, I cool. like that. The super fancy chef ingredient today, it's a 28 day dry aged fucking porterhouse steak. It's thicker than your mama's booty, and that's for certain. We're gonna do what's basically like sacrilegious, is cut it up into little tiny bits and then <laughs> stir fry it. There's another special ingredient. A special ingredient. And that, I think we're both happy about this one. Uni, sea urchin. Okay, how do we do it? Mmm. Uni is fucking great, but as a first thing you eat in the morning, it's intense. I think you're being a little puss right now. Dude, whatever. <laughs> Number one, Let's not waste time. Let's throw in these noodles. Okay. All right, you want to save, make, make sure you save, save the all packets. these little flavor Those bombs. Those are packets of joy. These look better than ramen noodles. They're like yellow. They're kind of golden. Let's get that garlic chopped up. You want to start with that? I hate right. doing that. All right, I'll do the parts that you hate. Sometimes you got to do shit. No judgments here. We got to get these noodles out. I think okay, they're okay, beyond the al dente. Out. You should see if it's done and throw it to a wall and see if it sticks. Oh yeah. That works for ramen too. My uncle used to have me throw meatballs on the wall. <coughs> oh, it's stuck, okay. Do you like meat? No, I'm just kidding. Um, do you? <laughs> I like you a lot, bro. <laughs> Sick, bro. I always need new friends because I hate a lot of people. Looks like my mother's hair, but it smells a lot better. My mother's hair smells like whiskey and Marlboro Reds. But we gotta cut up that steak now. It might look like Lindsay Lohan's face after I get done cutting with it. Oh, that's not nice. So you know, like the best steaks, like the best way to cook it, it's always on the bone, you know, it stays juicier. Yeah. I mean, it's unrecognizable now, you know. Yeah. That was like a $200 steak that we just fucking destroyed. We just destroyed it. I'm gonna get my uh, flavor packet and mise en place. These are little packets of rendered pork fat. All right, what's next? You gotta heat up some oil, but you gotta be ready because like this whole thing is gonna cook within like two minutes. You don't wanna cook this meat too much, you know, cause it's so good. Even yeah. though we cut it up like this, like you wanna cook it just so it's, you know, barely kind of brown, but still pink on the outside. Is that enough oil or more? Oh, no, 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 you got it. All right, here, come on, stop. Woo, baby. First ingredient, these little little garlics right here, Ooh. little baby garlics. You hear that sizzle? Reminds me of when I used to smoke crack, but I'm clean now. Congratulations. Thanks. Let that boy cook. Okay. Now I'm gonna squeeze in these little pork fat packets. Whoa, it's actually like real pork fat. Noodles, noodles. Noodles, noodles. Now you wanna put the sugar in right away because it helps helps keep the noodles from clumping up. Now we're gonna use some of this golden mountain. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. You need these little... Uh, the flavors. The little flavors. And we're gonna use chili powder. So we wanna put the uni in when it's not really you know on direct heat anymore. And your body's too unilicious for you, babe. This looks amazing. All we right. should plate it, and we should use what's left of this little fucking flavor, flavor packets as, as finishing salt. All right, this looks amazing. I think we're done. Before we start eating, though, we have a really special guest that's gonna help us eat our concoction, and I, I think he's gonna really love it, because I fucking love it. Oh, shit. It's Adam Pally from Full House. What's up? Oh, I love that show. Yeah. Shmandy. I heard you were taping a cooking show. Oh yeah, come in. Let's serve you food. Awesome. In a very unforced TV type of way. I'm so excited to eat your food. You seem like an excitable chef. Hey, how's it going? I'm a chef. 
I don't have custody of the kids this week, so I'm ready to eat. Sick, yeah, let's bro. do it. Let's do it. Let's high five divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Still married. All right, my lovely guests. This is the best part of the show. When we eat, when we eat. I've never really had uni like in a uh, in a noodle dish like this, and it's really. Mm. It was damn good. It is kind of like a carbonara, like a Thai carbonara. It's like Thai ghetto carbonara, but not like super high end. Yeah, ghetto carbonara. I used to do a one man show called Ghetto Carbonara. That's sick. Yeah, I would play this Italian guy, and I'd walk out and I'd just be like, oh, I didn't even see it there. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you tell that the beef is actually a better cut yes. of beef? You can tell right away. This meat is amazing. Oh man, I love sea urchin so much. It almost feels like tongue yeah. in the beginning, but then when you like get through that, it's got this it really feels nice like a homeless like, man's tongue that yeah. just took a bath in the ocean. Yeah. Listen, Adam, we have enough to give you seconds. Yeah, you guys know that I'm a fat piece of shit, right? No, no, I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you a chef question? What's up, yeah. Does pussy just like drip from everywhere when you can cook like this? I wish. Really, yeah. <laughs> For me now, it would be a lot easier because I'd be like, you ever seen this show on TV that I'm on? You, you have to be like, come to my apartment, let me use knives. Right, let, me, like, let me do this thing for <laughs> hot, you know, two like fire, hours, yeah. and then yeah. maybe you get lucky. You, yeah. bring it, you bring up your work stuff, and then you turn them off by saying, I'm gonna cut up them nipples, girl. And they're like, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> God, this sea urchin is fucking awesome. Mm, this is a really great dish, thank you so much. This is the part of the show where you guys get to ask each other questions, and just in case you were rushed for time, I wrote them for you guys. Thank you. Is food good? Or sometimes food is good. When? Uh, if it's at night market, it's good. Oh, if so it's, it's <laughs> not nice at plug, night huh? market, it's not. It's bad, okay, cool. Is Thai iced tea bullshit? Sometimes. When it's not from night market? <laughs> you said you don't really eat in Thai town, but where they put like fucking a whole big jug of heavy cream and sugar, do you like that? Yeah, it's bullshit, right? I mean, I don't drink it to begin with, you know? Okay, okay so, so why? So it is bullshit. Why, it's bu so you're right, it's bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. All right, cool. All right. cool. <laughs> Do you hate when boring white people ask for pad thai? I mean, this guy did this morning, you know, but I had to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> I did? Know? Yeah. <laughs> pad thai is for white people. I mean, that's like, <laughs> that is a disclaimer. What's the spice level of an average night market dish from one to 10? Eight and a half. What's the spice level of your love life? 8.6. That one's not one to 10. 69. All right, great. <laughs> Lady boys, hot? Or not. I'm gonna say hot. Yeah. yeah, if they come from night market. If they come, yeah, <laughs> if they come from night market. Is it my Sick, turn now? Sick, it's your turn. Cool, Adam is done with his questions. Is masturbation good for you? Yeah, you gotta get that gunk out of you. Get the poison out, <laughs> right? You walk around killing someone. You're from New Jersey. Yeah. What's your favorite part about New Jersey? Snooky or the hypodermic needle soaked shore? The shore, because there's some more snookies there. You've been married for over six years, correct? Uh, I think five years, but yeah. Do you know how many days that is? It's Wait, because I do. It's oh 2,310. Fuck you, Andy. <laughs> fuck you. To celebrate your 2,310 day wedding anniversary, we got you a cake. Oh, some of your wishes. You blew it up. <laughs> some of your wishes are gone already. No, I'm married. They're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. It's a red velvet cake. Oh, hell yeah. What a nice mix. Mm. What's up with Thai tea, man? You know, for my honeymoon, I went to Thailand, and uh, everyone was like mm. giving me that. I'm married. <laughs> What's up? This does come off though. Uh... <laughs> I need to fucking do it. <laughs>